Hello, episode three of Survivor 40, several belly of the beast. The quote comes from Jeff at Tribal this week. Now, if we think back to last episode, we were shaking our heads at the lunacy and the rank amateurness of Gabe burning his idol so early. Turns out Gabe is actually the player that we want to see. He's like the kind of fan that we want to see playing this game. It is very rare that the cast actually got to watch the previous season. These guys saw season 46 and actually watched as five players went home with idols in their pockets. Four of them consecutive. Hunter, bam. Tiffany, bam. Venus, bam. Q, bam. All done. So yeah, it was actually kind of a informed, smart move to burn that idol. Let's get into the politics because it's all over the place at Garter. It's Sam versus Hanukkah at Tuku Gay versus Sue. And at Lavo, it's Rome versus bloody everyone. We learn that Sam has never eaten pineapple, watermelon, most vegetables, gone to the toilet by himself. And in a move that is surely going to come back in the edit in coming episodes to go down as one of the biggest flubs in Survivor history since Eric gave his, uh, his idol to Natalie in Micronesia, season 16 for those who are accounting, uh, Andy decides to give his shot in the dark to Sierra. I'm sure there'll be no consequences whatsoever. A boat arrives and it's Gabe, Annika and Rome going on a journey and for the most part they tell each other all the goss, um, keeping very few secrets I thought. There's three packages. It's a game of chance. A one in three chance of getting an advantage. Feel free to pause the video and read that for yourself now. And Kyle walks away with losing his vote at one tribal. So does Annika and the harbinger of luck. Uh, Rome adds to his armory. Back at camp, Kyle told the truth to his, uh, to his tribe mates. Annika lies and says that she chose to save my vote to everyone, but told Rachel the truth. Whereas at Lavo, Rome just tells Teeny, and of course she tells everyone, so there is absolutely nothing like a secret on that tribe. Then we get into the immunity and comfort items challenge. And Andy and Rome initially boast big on doing the hard leg solo, but Andy, shock, struggles. Kishan, to his credit, jumps right in and gives it a red hot go despite being a novice swimmer but still puts them behind and from that they can't recover. So it's Garter in first, Tuku in second, and Lavo gets sent to Tribal, which is kind of nice having, you know, three episodes, three uh, tribes going to uh, Tribal Council. So yeah, evens up the playing field very nicely. At Camp Kishan does actually make another reference to Survivor 46 saying, we just don't want to have a Q moment. Does anyone want to go home? And we get to the votes and they're spread. Oh, Rome, of course, burns his idol. So that's gone, but he's still got a steal of vote in the back pocket. The votes are spread all over the place. Uh, it's uh, three against Aisha, but uh, only Teeny and Kishan don't get votes against them. So, yeah, we send Aisha home. And we have our third player losing their first castaway. Shane says goodbye to Aisha. So, as you know, we've got a journey of our own going on. Everyone has been split into alliances, and that's how they break down, that there are alliances right there. Read your tree mail to do with the journey, because all will be revealed very soon.